Right, good morning everyone. From Pockers Old Bain here, Colin. Uh, where am I at the moment? I'm uh, on the standing next to the 1301 uh, in Cambridge. Um, just a short stroll away from the Caravan and Com Camping Park. Right next door, well within a half a mile or so of uh, some of the big hospitals in Cambridge. Uh, so an excellent site if you actually have it to come to the hospitals here. Uh, we stopped here overnight on our way back up north. Uh, just off the, it's not too far off the M11, in fact you can hear the hum of the M11 from here so it can't be too far away. Uh, Duxford Imperial War Museum is actually not too far away as well. Um, got some shops in the immediate vicinity. Cambridge, the, the bus stop is seven minutes away and Cambridge is actually three miles away. Cambridge city centre is three miles away. Um, so I'm just going to have a little walk uh, down into the campsite now off the main road. Um, so when you see the, the camping sign there, you can turn left here. going down uh, Cabbage Moor. It's a private road leading down to quite a sprawling caravan and camping club site. Uh, when we came last night we arrived about half past five, what the six ish, something like that. Uh, they do say that the caravan and camping club is the friendly club and you, I can't uh, argue with that at all because they, we have a lovely sort of welcome from the manager and the assistant warden. Bonus uh, last night after a sort of long trip from France uh, was the, there was a potato in the jacket uh, van uh, on the site uh, and I don't know whether that's sort of a regular thing uh, um, but it was a bonus uh, it was uh, quite nice uh, we had a potato in the jacket uh, with cheese and uh, chilli con carne on it uh, very, very uh, well done. Uh, it cost uh, nine pound each. Uh, that was the uh, potato, and then one pound for each topping. So I'm just walking down the drive now. It's a private road off the 1301. I think Adam Brooks Hospital is at the back of here. Uh, there's a railway line on the right hand side of the site, which you could hear uh, last night and first thing this morning. It's not uh, too intrusive, the road noise, uh, although you can't hear the M11, the hum of that. Uh, I had a good sleep last night so it didn't actually disturb me sleep at all. You can hear it inside the van. But if you visit in Cambridge, um, this must be one of the, the, the best sites to uh, come and stay on. So a seven minute walk away from the local bus stop and then three miles, I think it takes about 20 minutes to get into Cambridge city centre. Or three miles if you've if you got a bike. So just coming up to the entrance now. Camping and caravanning club sign there, Cambridge. I'm doing this early in the morning. Uh, well, it's quiet, so it's, it's only about 20 past six now. It's a lovely morning. Uh, so if I do this little walk around, and then we're going to get ready for our last um, last leg up to the northeast. Uh, Camping and Caravanning Club. Welcome to Cambridge. Nice reception area there. It's nice and welcoming, all the plants. Gates closed between 11 and 7. And it's quite a sprawling flat uh, site. Loads of pictures on here.
And there's our set up for the night. It's going to set off about 10 o'clock, I think. So I'll just have a quick walk around. Very popular. I don't want to talk too loud because it's only, as I say, only 20 past six in the morning and don't be waking anyone up. Yeah, was, uh, I noticed there's a few people actually came on about the same time as us who we were recognised from the ferry. And I uh, was speaking to the boardman, he said, yeah, this is a very popular stop-off spot um, for the ferries from uh, Dover. It's come straight up the M11 and just, uh, just a few miles, well, three or four miles off the M11. Massive site. So there's another sort of camping field uh, through here. I love these little things that they do on these the camping and caravan and club sites. These little uh, statues, norms, and things. <laughs> Got the dog walk down there. I don't think there's any. They, they have got PowerPoints in this this field, all this build. Shouldn't have any problems getting on this site. It's massive. Right on the edge of uh, Cambridge as well. I think we'll have to come back down here and uh, have a weekend and go around Cambridge city centre. So there isn't much more to show you guys really, except that um, it's in a brilliant location for Cambridge and if, so if you're visiting Cambridge or the hospitals in this area, uh, just walking down the back of the toilet block now, usual facilities there, we've got a laundry, um, chemical disposal there, accessible toilets, you've got a family room. Let's have a look in here. Yeah, nice big room. Changing the babies and what have you. There's a washing line there, don't know who that belongs to. Not wonder if it's a general one. Got the washing up area here. Close the loose at 10.30 for cleaning. So I'll just have a quick peep in the loose and, and they sit, see what they're like. Just make sure no one's in there first. Yeah, immaculately clean. Didn't want to spend just a few seconds in there because there's someone in. Right, just outside the toilet block here, you've got the bus times to Cambridge. That's excellent. Lots of information. Yeah, so as I was saying, there's not really a lot more to show you really, because uh, I think you can see for yourself that uh, it's a very busy site. So if you're uh, in the in the area and you're looking for a campsite, I hope that's given you a little taste of what you can expect at the car camping and caravanning club site, Cambridge. Uh, excellently located uh, if you're visiting the hospitals or Cambridge uh, itself. 
uh, you can travel in up from the, the, the Dover sort of ferries uh, from the Channel Tunnel. Uh, a brilliant sort of overnight stop. And as I said, I've uh, seen a few vans on here who, which I recognise from the, the ferry and, the, and Calais and, and Dover Port. So I hope you've enjoyed that little uh, sort of quick look around Cambridge Camping and Caravanning Club site. Um, if you if you haven't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. If if you can subscribe, like and comment, um, and uh, back to the van, have a cup of tea, uh, and then get packed up, and then get ready uh, for our last leg up to the northeast, which is about 200 miles away. Uh, bye for now. I hope you have a brilliant day.